Goodwill Community Foundation, creating opportunities for a better life. We're going to talk about how to do an effective search online. If your browser has a built-in search bar or supports searching in the address bar, you can use that for convenience. Or you can go straight to the search engine you want. I'm going to use Google. The truth is, Google is a very good search engine. Most of the time, it can find what you're looking for, even if you don't know what you're doing. But it can't hurt to learn a few strategies. Say we're looking for recipes online, but we're not sure what we want to make. We'll keep it simple and just start typing the word recipes. This prompts the search box to give us a list of suggestions. Suggestions are great because they can give you an idea for a search that you might not have thought of. You can click one of the suggestions or just keep typing. As you can see, you don't need to worry about case, punctuation, or even using complete sentences. Hopefully we'll find some good cookie recipes. These are our search results. There are also some ads at the top, and sometimes you'll find them to the right too. If you see what you're looking for, you can click the link. If not, you may want to reconsider your search terms. For example, you could make them more specific or search for different words altogether. Suppose we don't want cookies with chocolate in them. We can tell the search engine to exclude those results by typing a hyphen or a minus sign, followed by the word we want to exclude. Notice that there is no space after the hyphen, so it's recipes, cookies, minus chocolate. This should have gotten rid of all the chocolate chip cookie recipes. There's still a pretty good variety to choose from. But I see there's sort of a sugar cookie recipe here, and that sounds really good. So I'm going to try searching for that to get as many recipes as I can. We want to put sugar cookies in quotes, so Google searches for that specific phrase. Otherwise, we might get results for other types of cookies that just happen to have sugar in the ingredients. These results look good because we have a lot of recipes to choose from, and they're all pretty much what we're looking for. However, we could refine them even more using the options below the search box. Here we have different types of content to choose from, like images, maps, and shopping. To view even more options, open the menu that says More. This is also where you can access special search tools that'll let you filter your results. These options will change depending on what you're looking for, giving you even more control over the pages, resources, and other things that you find. For now, why don't we do a visual search for cookie recipes by switching over to images? Now we can just browse through pictures to see if there's anything we like. These look really good. But wouldn't it be great if we could just watch a video to learn how to make cookies? We can do that. All we have to do is switch over to videos, again using the options near the top of the page. This will give us a lot of how-to videos, which should really come in handy. Now you can experiment with your own search terms. And just remember that most of the time, more specific search terms yield better results.